Hi everyone, welcome to Handicrafts A to Z and today we're gonna learn how to make the carpet loom out of your Ashford Rigid Heddle Loom using two heddles and some spare parts. Okay, I've worked the loom as you can see got this construction to keep my tension even on every side and here I worked four threads into each slot because we'll be doing the ad advanced warping later on and as you can see got two four threads in each slot and now I will roll the beams and I'll stop, start warping the second pedal okay so I've worked all the 250 ends here just as I showed before, each slot contains just, contains four threads. It's one, two, three, and four. When you roll it on the beam, make sure that you got all the tension evenly, because when you start weaving, it will be very difficult to to fix it. So pull the thre uh, pull the warp type when you're warping when you roll the beam. Okay, now we are ready to put the first heddle into work. So what I do now, shift a bit. I pick up, I've already done two. So I pick one of the threads in the slot and insert it into the eye. So separate the four, as you can see the warp itself it's so twisted that it rolls itself in and what we do now I insert pick up the thread it's a bit uncomfortable to do it in front of the camera I hope you can see it and I pull it in and we set it aside Separate the next four threads, pick up one of them, and using a hook, pull it through the eye. So at the end of the row, you will have one thread in the eye and three at the bottom in the slot. Since I have 125 working knots. The last one that I made contains only two threads here. So I will just work with it as it is. Just leave one here and insert one into the eye and pass it through in the second heddle. Just to show you again. Got one thread here. And for some reason, got I don't know why, but I have two here. I have to I have to check it out. Anyway, continue. Sorry, I found the error from the mistake. Pick the wrong, the wrong row. So I return the thread here and I switch it back. Okay, now we're, we're right. We've got four threads in the eye. And we've got 16 threads at the bottom in the slot. 
and here we have four threads I pick up the first one honestly this is the first time I'm doing it because usually we work on a big metal frame looms and it's not really comfortable comfortable to keep one at home so and since I have at the moment I don't have a chance to work in a big workshop but I still have a desire to make a carpet I have to use the rigid header loom So you will see everything online, whether I can make it or I fail, and my loom is breaking, will break. I hope that doesn't happen. So this is just a pure experiment that I'm doing right now. With such a fine thread. You might think that the distance between, between th threads is too small. But that's okay in a zeri carpets when you loom, loom when you warp the loom there is no space between between threads and i will show it later on or you can watch in the previous videos how tight the warp is okay and we'll come back to you probably in half an hour and there will be two seconds for you okay so the warp the back handle with three, four four threads one in the in the hole three in the slot and now it's time to warp the second handle first of all you have to line up all the holes and slots so you can match them together just to show you just if you stick the hook inside you get to the same point here and we're ready to do the advanced warping Okay, so I've done the, a bit of warping, just to check how it works. This is generally the setup that you, that you will be looking for. You got the back handle in the up position. You might want to use a book or something to support it, so it doesn't fall off. Well, it does. And it will keep eventually, so you have to make sure that it stays stable. And you might want to use mugs and jars to keep the lower handle in and now we're going to do the advanced warping what we have here we've got one thread in the slot and we've got three th sl uh, sorry one thread in the slot and three in i don't know what i'm talking about anyway you've got one thread in the hole and three in the slot so we choose two threads from the slot and warp it in the previous slot Oops. yeah it keeps falling off that's why you need books to support it you split one of the threads and keep the three threads together keep them aside now make us a loop and insert the hook in the next hole pick up the thread doesn't fall off keep it in place we have done this now we pick up the three spares one in the hole two in the slots around it and warp it inside the slot at the bottom all three again so we get this nice and easy got one thread here three at the bottom pick them up set the others aside pick up any two three 
thread them through the previous slot. Separate one and add it to the bunch of these three. Again, make a loop, insert and pull it through the hole and thread through the slot. It looks confusing at the, at the beginning, but once you get the pattern, it's easy to follow. As you can see, I've done so many, so many threads just to get the, the rhyme, get the pattern. So this is it. Just have to pull the threads together. So when I go up and down, I got a nice shed. Okay. So I keep the book in the place. So I'll do one more and I'll switch off the camera and then do the, the rest. So it'll take me about three hours to warp the rest. Okay. So we've got three threads and one in the hole. And we choose to pull through the slot, previous slot. Split threads. One goes to the main bunch over here. So we've got three threads and one in the slot. This one goes to the bottom hole. And the rest goes to the bottom slot. nice. So we've got one in the hole, three in the slot, one in the hole, three in the slot. And we'll continue in a couple of seconds. Okay, so I've finished the warping and I've tied all the threads into small strands. There's about well, four holes. It makes 16 threads in the bunch. And the reason I'm making it is this, this way it's easy to control the, the tension of the warp. I'll show you how to make it. Okay. So I just wrap it around inside the, the bunch. Pull through. And I go like this until I get all the threads done. I'm using the same thread as I used as I used for warping. Just fold it in twice and roughly insert in the middle of the punch. So this part generally goes just like for any other loom. Get the tension, straighten out the tension, and you turn the rod a bit, the beam. And the last thing that I want to show you is how to turn your Ashford rigid header loom into the comfortable carpet weaving loom. 
is attaching the wool holder. You can use the the shuttle for that or any other round stick. Don't use the pickup stick stick because it might just slid off slip off the loom. Okay, so I've almost done here. Six more to go. The reason I'm doing this way, it doesn't matter how well you place the the, the uh, warp the loom, still might be some different some tensions, some different tensions on the warp itself. And for the carpet, it's very important to keep the tension straight because I'll show you later what might happen generally when you weave, weave the carpet your warp should sink probably if, you, if you've seen all the videos on the channel you've heard the sound that it makes the, the warp itself it sounds like little harp So I've done this and now I need to get the tension right. I don't need to make the tension straight but just as soon I, as long as I have have it even across the whole carpet it's okay. That's the part that I don't, don't like on the big looms because working setting the tension there is very painful to your fingers because the warp itself can cut your fingers through okay so more or less tension is okay I might just spread it and this one is enough tie the end this one to prevent from slipping and sliding off make two more knots here on the edge of here And get the tension across the across the warp. So you can see this one is loose. This one's a bit tight in the center. So I just release it over here. But generally it's okay. More or less. Okay, so this one is right. So we start the, uh, we're ready to start the, the last point. And for that you will need a shuttle. Okay, to make the wool holder, you, you will take you have to take the shuttle and using the warp thread measure about 80 centimeters for the 80 or 90 doesn't really that much matter you fold the thread in half shape the loop like shape a look like, loop like this insert the fingers slide through and place it on the hook of the shuttle place two more knots to secure it and 
and one more. You'll do, have to do the same from the other end. And we'll, we will attach this shuttle to the back beam. So I'll make the same thing here. Make it simple. Open up and pull the thread. Make two more knots here to secure. Sorry. And now have to get the loom down a bit. Hope it doesn't fall off. And I will lightly just make sure they got the, the knots on both sides, the same side of the shuttle. And you may just tie it around very freedomly. Just make sure they've got the about, amount of, about the same space here. this end and approximately at the same distance from another side shuttle you can actually hang the the skins that we've done in the previous lessons so what you do you pick up the skin remember this little apple shaped thing you find the center over here pull the thread through again it's a warp you tie the knot to secure the wool and then you tie it to the shuttle again it's very freely you don't have to tie it very tight it should be hanging around like this like two, two, four inches from the shuttle. So when you raise the loom, it will be hanging in front of you. It will be easy for you to pull the threads and start weaving. Okay, that's it for today. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll make the first two centimeters of weaving and sumach part. That's the the special knot that make the stitch that makes the keeps all the rows together uh, from unweaving the carpet. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Bye.